You know the story of Mana Elon, one of Stephen King's most terrifying works. Get ready for a sleepless night. And while trying to sleep, don't forget to subscribe if you like scary stories. Pete Simmons wanted to go play with his brother George and his friends, but he was too small. When he was alone, he decided to go to an abandoned area where the older ones got drunk. When he reached Mana Elon, he found a bottle of vodka. Then he sat inside a restaurant and began to take small sips until the alcohol made him sleep like a log. A few minutes later, a family could began to approach. The speed at which it moved was disturbingly slow. It parked at the door of the service area, throwing some barrels. And the driver's door opened, but nobody got out. Doug Clayton was passing through the service area when he saw the car stalling at the door. He liked to help others, so he stopped his car and went to investigate the family vehicle. It was completely covered in mud. Dub offered his help, but had no answer. He looked through the ajar door and discovered that inside it was also full of mud. The steering wheel had the traces of thin and elongated fingers and giant palms. He grabbed the door to see the inside better, and suddenly he began to feel a hand grabbing him. He looked and saw that his fingers were gone. There was only a stump of a hand. Then the car opened like a mouth, and began sucking Doug in. The pain he felt was heartbreaking, until he disappeared in the dark. Later, the loser couple appeared with their children, Rachel and Blake. The father went out to offer his help to the parked cars. Since nobody answered, he decided to poke his head in the first car. It opened and closed, decapitating the man. His wife ran over to help him, but she couldn't fight with the force of the car, and saw how his head was loose inside it and his body was disappearing. Also, in trying to save him, a lock of her hair had touched the car, and it began to pull her scalp until she was left without skin. Finally, her body was destroyed inside the vehicle. The crying of the children made Pete wake up. With a headache, he looked out the window and saw all the cars parked and the children moving towards the road. He didn't understand what had happened. When he decided to go to help the children, a police car arrived to save them. Agent Jimmy Golding did not believe the children's story. He approached the car and tried to open the door with his gun. The car started to pull on Jimmy too. Finally, and after much pain, Jimmy ran the same fate as the others. Pete could not believe what he had seen, and ran to look for the kids. They hugged him dead in fear. Pete knew that the solution was in his hands. He had a great idea, and went to look for the magnifying glass he was carrying in his backpack. Afraid, he approached the car as close as he could. The sun was high, and with the magnifying glass pointed to the car. Suddenly, the sunlight shone through, and the car began to burn and make a very unpleasant sound. After a few seconds, the car became a black wall. That took off and flew through the sky. What do you think of this story? If you were super scared, then subscribe, and if you are brave, then also subscribe and give us a like. What would you have done to kill the monster? Until the next video.